Hi everyone and welcome to the Baguette Investor channel for a new video. Today a very quick and simple video where I want to share my thoughts about uh, what I'm doing. Um, so I want to talk today about why I'm not buying any stocks. I'm not aggressive buying any stocks at the moment and uh, two rules I have um, set for my trading during this uh, complicated period. So why am I saying this is a complicated period? Well, for me as a trend follower, which means I try to buy a high and sell it for a much higher price. I do trend following, I ride trends. Um, what's happening right now is a range market. So you may think that the market is actually going up looking at the S&P 500, if you're looking at, of course, the United States of America. But if you look at Europe, it's almost the same. You look at the United States and you feel like, well, the market is going up, but it's actually not going up. Only the few big stocks are going up and are no more going up, but were going up in the past. Actually, the market peaked uh, around this area right there. Mo most stocks topped between February and March, April of 2021, since we're only in a... A range market so what can I do in the range markets you can do aggressive buying because what happens in range markets and I've been a victim of that is there are many many fake breakouts when you trade this in, in this environment like this when the indexes are very what we what I call directional which means you, you know how the investors are behaving you know when you see these kind of graph people are very optimistic but when you start seeing this kind of sideways price action into a range that can last for a very very long time the the investors do not know which direction they need to take the bet even sometimes there can be a breakdown and the price goes back in again a breakout is not a hundred percent chance of success but it is you have a very high uh, percent of uh, success during those periods and when you're in those periods right there you have a very low uh, success rate maybe you're gonna have 70 to 80 percent here and like oh my computer is starting to lag protect myself against this is I decided to never use the market order so I never FOMO on anything uh, during that period if I see for example, a candle that breaks above a level, I will not market the order because I will you only use limits. I will only use throwbacks. So let's say the market goes up like this. I will not market by the, the breakout. I will limit the retest, which makes my bet on that area and my bet becomes, well, bounce or die. So I can maybe set a lower stop loss under there. Second rule, I will not enter on daily setups. I will focus on monthly and weekly setups. I do my screening on the monthly. So I try to spot the best trends on the monthly and I enter on the weekly. So that cancels many, 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 many opportunities only to keep the one that have the highest chance of success in this absolutely awful market we can't complain because i was not here i started trading stocks uh, back in uh what march or um, let's say june is better I, I started trading back in june uh, back in the days i was watching the financial markets but not actively trading and there was one of the craziest bull markets in the history of stocks you can see that uh, USA mid caps went up like crazy. They went up 130%, which is an, for an index unpre unprecedented uh, growth in one year. So in order to get away with this situation and not blow my account on this range market, I decided to share this little analysis I had with you and share these uh, rules that I had. I think it might be very useful to you because... Um, it, range markets tend to be very hard for trend followers. The, another, another thing that I'm, I think is very important is to find the sectors that are trending because you might not have the whole market that is trending, but you might have slum sectors. What happened 
back in the days that every single stock was going up but we'll do a special video uh, in the future about what happened in 2020 and 2021 I think that's going to be very interesting for most of you uh, this is just a very quick video to say uh, what I'm what I'm doing uh, I'm looking at a few stocks I'm looking for example at the uh, t the the twenty year bond uh, the t twenty year U United States government bond, which is the equivalent of the TLT, but this one is labeled in euro because as Europeans we don't have access to um, to uh, American ETFs, and I'm also looking at many 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 stocks from different sectors that I will detail in future videos. But I ha I rem remember, for example, a very good stock, which might be, um, for example, you have NTRA, which is looking fantastic. You can see that this is a monthly setup that you have. You zoom in on the weekly, and you can clearly s see the, the, the moment you are going to take a position. And it reduces a lot the kind of thing, uh, the kind of fake signals you can get. I also have a tech uh, stock. Yeah, there it is. It's Optimize RX, which is breaking out. Candle is not closed. Remember, I don't buy a candle that is not closed, so I will never buy this until the weekly closes above. I got I it it, it saved me with AVGO because you can think uh, back when it. It broke there on uh, August 21. The market was not showing any strength, so I did not buy. What happened after that is it's starting to range. You we're going to zoom in on the daily to see what happened. Then we had a high, and I was like looking at the daily. And you can see that there, the daily did a breakout, but I am not buying the daily because I don't trust the daily in uh, range markets. So I was only looking at the weekly. You can see that the weekly didn't break the previous high. So now the, pr the, the price is just in a range market. Plus you have the semiconductors index telling you, well, the market is not directional at the moment. You can see it's, it's I don't think if you, I'm clear there, but this is a directional market where the, the trend is super strong. And this is a range market where the trend is super weak. When you take you bet on breakouts there, you're going to have 90% of success. You bet on breakouts there, you're going to get 10% of success. So your strategy needs to be very different. And I'm, st I'm still working on finding a strategy that works even... I don't think I will be able to find one. I need to focus on trending markets. So that's it for today. Hope you find what I say interesting. I'm sharing my thoughts and my research with you. I have many much more videos to come if you want more please subscribe leave a like and tell me in the comments what you think about my rules and my in my investing strategies i share with you i hope you find this interesting thank you so much for watching see you in the next video and goodbye